What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Andrew here and today we are doing something a little different. We're in my little studio in my bedroom as you guys can see. Don't mind the mess back there guys. I'm trying something a little different just so I don't have to keep making car content just because I don't have that much stuff going on with the FRS. And so I thought making like reaction videos or something to Instagram videos would, would be pretty cool. So today we're going to be looking at some videos my friends and subscribers sent me and I'm going to be watching them and giving you guys my review on them. So so right here we got the first video. We got a we got a C7 Corvette, what it looks like. I'm pretty sure it's an exhaust video, so I love I love the sound of C7 Corvette. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and take a listen. <laughs> That thing sounds so good. I love the sound of C7 Corvettes. Two-step on them are, are ridiculous, especially if they're boosted or something. Uh, Two-steps on boosted vets sound disgusting, and I, I really want a vet. This is, if I had a vet, this is what it, this is what it would do. Like, it'd be, this is gonna some, be some crazy stuff. I got the flames and everything. Everybody knows I love flames. <laughs> something about LSs and LTs that, they just sound so good. They rev so high for being a V8, and I just love the sound of how they sound up there. Probably one of my favorite sounding V8 cars, especially the C6 Z06. Love those cars. Love those cars so much. All right, so next video. Here we go. We got an Evo. Let's uh, turn on some volume. Uh, I'm not going to say nothing. I'm going to just watch this video real quick. Yo, all right, four cylinders, Evos. It looks like it, I'm pretty sure that's an Evo 9. That thing sounds absolutely disgusting with external wastegate and everything. Surprised no flames came out on that because usually, you know, Evos like to shoot some flames between shifts. This dude's pushing quite a bit of power. Let me see how much boost he hits on, on full throttle. Peaks at 30, then it drops down to 25, I believe. That's pretty crazy. That's that's absolutely insane. Uh, he probably, I mean, he's probably pushing like 500 horsepower, so five or 600 horsepower. That thing sounds absolutely nuts. It sounds really good. It sounds like it has a quality exhaust. It doesn't really sound like straight piped or anything, or like a hood dump or something. But that that external wastegate sounds phenomenal. We got Dodge Viper here. This thing looks so good. I like the matte military green. That thing looks. It suits it very well. Suits it does. It does suit it very well. Oh, let me. Botched it. Let me get a car that sounds like that. That sounds, that sounds so good. I think Dodge Vipers are so cool. It's a shame that Dodge is getting rid of all their muscle cars and whatnot. Because Dodge Vipers are like, honestly, if I had the money to ever buy Dodge Viper, I probably would buy Dodge Viper. For a V10, I'd probably buy like a r rate or something but if i had extra money i would definitely get a viper vipers are so cool i love the exhaust that comes out the side fantastic car I, they just look so good i think yeah i mean it's a dodge viper with two step i love the two steps love the flames coming out the sides that thing looks so good honestly it left me speechless because i don't even know what to say this is night levels uh twin turbo huracan this thing sounds disgusting and this rolling anti-lag is crazy i've already seen this video of course everybody probably already has You, that's like that's probably like a 10 foot flame 15 foot flame that that's almost that's pretty much a car length behind the car that 
is shooting a flame out. Imagine if you're driving behind that and he just he just randomly hit his rolling anti lag and burned your whole entire hood and bumper. That'd be insane. I know those I know those cars put a lot a lot of heat out there in the back. There's no way that thing sounds so good though. I could listen to that all day. Takes off like a rocket ship. Twin turbo Lambos are so cool. Oh, here we go. We got Supra. Damn. Damn. That sounds good. I'm a fan of I'm a fan of the new Supras. Yeah. Yeah, definitely a fan. That sounds that sounds really good. Yeah, that sounds crazy. I'm a fan of the su new Supras, like I said. Um, if I had to pick between the new Supras and the old Supras, uh, honestly, if I had the money, I'd get a Mark IV Supra. Uh, honestly, I wouldn't mind I wouldn't mind a Mark V. The B58 is actually a really good motor. Nobody really talks about it that much, but they make some crazy power with some bolt-ons. It's ridiculous. Bolt-ons, this thing's already like almost a nine-second car. Like... That's fast. Everybody just talks stuff like it's not the same as the Mark IV, but honestly, we live in a new age. Everything's going to be different. So you got to adapt where you can. Mark V Supra, hands down, would probably buy one. Honestly, I was this close to buying one last year, but I had to drive too much for work. I would have bought I would have bought one. I would have sold the FRS and bought one, but I did not, sadly. So it's a good sounding car, though. I wonder where exhaust and stuff he has on it. like the Pops. Fan of the Pops. Ooh. This is an old video, January of 2020. Oh my goodness. All right, I love me an FD, especially if it's rotary. If you have an FD and it's not rotary, why? Why even get an FD? Like you gotta, you gotta keep that thing. You gotta keep that thing rotary, guys. I love it. It sounds so good. I love FDs and the Raiders. I love the Braps. I love everything about it. Exhaust clip wasn't that long, so kind of sucks, but damn, that thing sounds good. Oh, okay. I love rotaries. They sound so good. If I could rotary swap the FRS, I definitely would, but all right, guys, so that's the end of the video. Comment down below which car was your favorite car, which exhaust clip was your favorite clip. Uh, I hope you guys like these things because I would, I would love to keep doing these uh, in between my car vlogs just so I can keep pushing out content for you guys. Uh, I've been on a roll, been uploading every Monday. So I'm trying to hit a thousand subs by the end of the year. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe button down below. Subscribe if you wanna see the FRS finished. And just remember, life is too short, so get out there and have some fun. Peace out. Oh, 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 oh,